No way to hold on when the globe is turning that fast. But I know I can do it. Hmm. Give me that piece of rope there, would you? <sighs> now you can't throw me off. Spin it. Go on. Whoa! What you doing? Trying to learn a bit about the Earth's gravity? That's a globe, not the Earth. Well, a globe's a model of the Earth, isn't it? Hey, come on, Simka. The globe looks like a ball, but the Earth is flat. We walk on it. The Earth also looks like a ball. It's just a very, very big one. It's not true. If the Earth is really round like you say, then it would throw people right off of it, like the globe does to me. No, it's just that the Earth pulls everyone towards it. Are you sure? The planet that we live on, the Earth, is a huge sphere. The Earth revolves around the Sun, and the Moon revolves around the Earth. Do you know why they don't fly away from each other? It's because of a force called gravity that pulls all objects towards each other. The heavier the object, the stronger its pull. That's why people, rocks, air, and water get pulled towards the Earth instead of floating up into space. Thanks to gravity, we are able to walk on the Earth. Why doesn't the globe pull on me like the Earth does? Because this globe is very light. Compared to the Earth, this globe is like millions of billions of times lighter. Compared to the Earth, we're specks of dust. He's right. Look, a speck of dust. It sticks to the globe like we stick to the Earth. Oh, come on. It's just because no one's turning it. But the Earth's spinning and we stick to it. What? I just don't believe you. There's just no way the Earth is spinning. You've really got no idea how the days all turn into the nights, do you? Do too. It's because the sun goes up and then sets. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Our sun's here and you're over there. On Earth. Is it dark, Nolik? It's dark. Then it's nighttime on your side. And here, it's day. All right. Now we'll turn the Earth. Hooray! Now it's daytime for me, and night for me over here. Ah, oh, my side got dark again. And for me, it's a new day. All right, fine. You guys were right. I believe you. The Earth is spinning. <laughs> the Earth goes round and round like a tilted spinning top. And as it spins, the sun shines its light on whichever half of the Earth is facing it. And as the Earth makes one full turn, we watch how the night becomes day and the day becomes night again. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to make one full turn. But that's not all. The Earth is also traveling in space around the sun. It takes the Earth one year to make a full circle. As it goes along its way, the top and bottom of the Earth take turns being closer to the sun. That's because the Earth is tilted. When the top half is closer to the sun, it's summer there. While at the very same time on the bottom half, it is winter. And when it is winter on the top half, it is summer on the bottom. Nolik. Nolik, where are you? I'm not sure. Somewhere in Kazakhstan. The force of gravity is super strong around here. So go on, spin it. You're gonna fall off, Nolik. Don't worry, just do it. Go ahead and tilt it if you feel like it. Told ya! Ha! And you were sure I was gonna fall off this globe. That's strange. Nolik, come on over here. What for? You'll see in a second. I don't want to. You really don't want or you can't. Tom Thomas, take a look. 
<laughs> I get it. He stuck himself to the globe, didn't he? Yeah, with the chewing gum. Isn't it time to go? Uh-huh. And me! Well, what about me? Hey! Ah! Uh, you gotta help me! Don't leave me! Should we help him? But the pull of chewing gum is even stronger than the Earth's gravity. I almost caught one yesterday. I chased him, but he fled. But if I told my dad, he'd say, It's, it's all inside, inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them. Or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixer, please don't let their secret out. The disguise. Ugh, good. Tom Thomas, why do you need a second aquarium? Especially without any fish. First of all, it's a terrarium. And it's not for fish, it's for lizards and snakes. Ooh. My friend Katya asked me to take care of him while she's away. That's why I brought him here. Take care of who? There's no one in there. Ah! <laughs> it's a chameleon, Nolik. I think he's awesome. It's a bad idea to take him out. He might run away. Don't you worry. I got him. What a monster. But how come I couldn't see him before? It's because a chameleon knows how to disguise himself by changing the color of his whole body. <laughs> have you ever seen a military uniform? They have special patterns and colors that help soldiers hide. That's called camouflage, and people learned it from animals. For instance, a caterpillar can look like a twig, and a seahorse can look like a piece of coral. An ordinary gray rabbit becomes white in the winter, so a wolf will have trouble finding it in the snow. But the champion of camouflage is the chameleon. This master of disguise can change its color in just a matter of seconds. Hey, Tom Thomas, where'd your chameleon go? Oh, it disappeared. It didn't disappear, it camouflaged. He won't hide for long. Let's find him. <laughs> Chusaka, have you seen the chameleon? Where is he? Do you see him? No, he's not gonna let us catch him. We're gonna have to, to trick him into coming to us. Uh-huh. We can set a trap with something that he likes. What do they like, I wonder? What else? Their food. And what do chameleons eat? Well, like flies or caterpillars, roaches. Where's the fly gonna come from? Well, what if... You wait, I'm gonna get you. Hey, we got to help Katya. You don't see the caterpillar complaining. <laughs> Quiet. Nolik, you start buzzing. Buzzing? Yeah, like a fly. Yeah, and flap your wings, too. <laughs> Simka, how long do I gotta keep doing this? Until the chameleon shows himself. Just keep buzzing. Tom Thomas, there he is. Grab him. Army? 
They use camouflage all the time. They use nets that look like bushes, paint their tanks in colors that make them blend into their surroundings, and even fly in special planes that can't be seen by radar. They do everything they can to disguise their location. But it's not just the army that uses disguises. Photographers camouflage themselves to take pictures of wild animals. People use makeup to camouflage their blemishes. And artists, they disguise old walls with bright, happy pictures. And people just love to put on masquerade parties where they disguise themselves in costumes and masks. And of course, fixies have their own great disguise. Remember? Well, what is it? Now he won't run away. So, Mr. Master of Disguise, what are you gonna say now? If only I could disguise myself that well. Nolan, what are you talking about? You know how to disguise yourself a hundred times better than him. Ah, oh, you're right. Hey, chameleon, look and learn. Here's a real disguise. Please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out.